the number one reason why you are not making six figures in real estate right now is because you're trying to do too much. And what I mean by that is the issue is there's not too many things that actually make you money in real estate. Really, let's break it down really quick. Let's say like, what makes you money in real estate? Meeting new people, showing them houses or listing their house and closing deals. That's it. So the problem is, is most agents, they try to take too much on and then you start getting distracted with one, uh, your website, logo, all the BS that comes with real estate. That's probably one thing I never realized with real estate was like how many headaches that come on. Like today we got an emails about some logo that needs to be changed because it's not up to standards or, or we need to, we're missing a number on one of our Instagram. So those are the kind of things that will bog you down from actually doing things that make you money. If you're not making money right now, what I want you to do is I want you to really honestly look through your day and go, okay, what I do between eight and 9 a.m. What I between nine and 10, 10, 11, 12 for the rest of the day. And then I want you to go through there and see what are those things that are actually money making items and start figuring out doing more of those. And then when you find the trend of what makes me the most money, then at that point in time, double down on those, subtract the things that don't make you money. And that's where you really get leveling up because that's really what every top producer is doing. So it starts out like this, you're a brand new agent, you start doing deals, you start making money, boom. I'm busier now doing transactions. I can't do my paperwork anymore. Boom, TC in. Then you start getting a little bit more. Okay, great. Now I need uh, a showing partner to show my listings because I'm too busy. Or now I need someone to put signs in the front yard. Now I need to have a marketing guy. Now I have to have an assistant. Now I'm gonna have... So we start slowly but surely cutting down all the things we do to really only focus on money making items. And as those money making items go up, we now make more money and that will give us more time to then do the things we want, hire more people, and then we get to have a little bit more freedom and do the things we only wanna do. So if you're not making six figures right now, you really need to look at your day. How many hours are you trying to put in? What are the things you're doing money making items? What are you wasting your time on that you think are money making items, but they're really not and go from there. And I think what you have to realize if the medium income in, in the United States is $54,000, that's someone working 40 hours a week, then how many hours do you need to put in if you wanna make six figures? So you wanna double the medium income, so you better be putting the work in. So you're not gonna make $100,000 by putting 20 hours a week in. It just doesn't happen. And stop watching agents that have been doing this for five, six, seven, 10 years. If you would go back to see what they're doing in their first year, it's gonna be completely different than what they're doing in their 10 years. So go through your day, look at money making items, figure out what those things are, double down on money making items, pull out the things, that's why teams are really important because teams take care of all the things that aren't money making items. So you can actually go do things that go make more money. So when you look at your split with a team and you go, oh my God, I'm taking 50%. Well, the problem is that you're probably only going to make that amount of money because you're too busy doing all the things that the team takes care of. So hopefully this video helps. Uh, comment below if you have any questions. Make sure you hit that bell subscribe button. Until next time, guys. Peace.